Peace, peace, love and light, everyone. It's T here, and I'm here with a special edition of High T with my girl, Millie. She hey. is back to share with you. Um, we are doing a book review, and yes, we are. she shared her pick, and it was a doozy. It was a great one for me, <laughs> and um, <laughs> we, we have a little group, and we, we discussed the book. But uh, I felt like it needed to be elaborated more and shared with the public um, as well, especially other women. And yes. so, um, of course, I'm sipping the tea and it's actually my special blend. Um, it's CBD. Yes. <laughs> of it <course>. is special. <laughs> it's delicious. Thank you. Thank you. I no sugar or honey needed. Right, right. It was straight up. Yes, straight. That's it. And so I'm sipping on that. And uh, we're going to get into it. The um, 48 Laws of Power by, give us the author. Robert Greene. Robert, Robert Greene. Green. Okay, yes. And um, why would, why'd you choose that book for, the, um, for your choice during the book chats? Uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, how I, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great way to segue power in your favor. Or just be aware of how people will manipulate. Now, there's different ways of taking certain things, good or bad. It's just like anything else. Mm-hmm. But it makes you more aware of your surroundings. It yeah. makes you more cautious about, you know, are you, you this girl? Are you trying to use me to get, you know? So, mm-hmm. you know, I like the, that. And it's one of the books that they banned from prison. Mm. Mm. Which and that's was funny. one of the reasons. That's funny because a friend of mine, um, she mentioned that her... Uh, her, you know, soon to be husband or what have you had um, recommended that book and he is in prison. And so yeah. that's, that's, and what's funny is the other night I was catching up on uh, a certain series yeah. um, that I love to watch. Uh, of course, it's Power. And yeah. they are reading the book. Um, it was mentioned in episode 48 Laws of Power. Oh. Yeah. Yes, the last episode, they're reading the book in the, you know, uh, yeah. you know, the, the story goes, they're reading it for um, school, yeah. the young guy Tariq, and, you know, they, they decided to use that book, and it just, once I read the book, when you recommended it, and, you know, I watched the show, I said, oh, they, that's that book. Yeah. She, she took it's it. It's a reference to his book. He wrote that's, a book with him. Great. He called the 50th law of power. See, see what I'm 50 saying? 50 Cent and Robert Greene. They sure did. See, they added you know what I'm saying? Right. So I was like, yo, this, this is, yes, yes. Now okay. wonder. Oh, now wonder. Okay. So to get into <laughs> it, the 48 laws of power by Robert Greene. Um, yes. And I read a lot of books, but this, you know, nobody ever recommended that. I didn't even know he, you know, him as an author. I might have yeah. heard some of the concepts. But you know, I never heard of him. Yeah, yeah. He's um what makes the book great is the references to history, like we've discussed. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. uses history, he uses scientific fact and just human nature, which is one of his newest books, girl. I can't wait until we get to that one. The law of human nature. Mm, yes, okay. I've been seeing it now. I got it for my birthday this past year. Mm. And yeah, and it, it all everything that he writes, he can reference back to okay, this person utilized this, whether they were aware of it or not, mm. you know, and how we can benefit from either being aware of it or utilizing it ourselves, right? You know, like me and you discuss with children, you know, children of mommy, please, 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 can I have, you know, and they'll they'll seduce you and they'll do everything that you need to in order to get their way. So we're aware of these things as human beings, even very young. Right, 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 right. And, you know, as far as laws, I mean, that, that was an attraction as well. I mean, just for me, I love universal laws. I love to study the universal laws, you know, the 12 laws of karma. So when I saw you know, that I was like, oh, yeah, this is definitely going to be a, you know, and what's great is, you know, it was an audio book. So, you know, listening yeah. to a book and reading for me are two different uh, things as well, because there was yeah. so many times I had to go back 
and yeah. re-listen and re-listen and re-listen so I could get because it was so many jewels. Yeah. You know, so it's just like, yeah. oh, all right, all right. Yeah, it's, it's and it's like even history, this stuff that we learn in school, we're being taught some of these things and we're not, you know, we're just looking at it as, oh, this is, we need to know this to pass this yeah. test to move on. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, That's yeah. the only reason why we be... study it. <laughs> yeah, it's not innovativeness anymore. It's more like learn to memorize, mm-hmm. learn to work. Right, right. And so we, you know? we know that a teacher and, and education is what they can bring out of you, not just what they put in you. Exactly, exactly. This is a good one. This is a good one. So we can get started. What was, what was, I was going to say, well, your top five, you want to go with our top five laws and just discuss Oof. those? Or you trying yeah. to run through a brief, you know. Oh, man. Ooh, <laughs> I think, ooh, yeah, this will wind up being a two-parter for real. Right, this, right. Is, this is like, it's it's just, oh, man. How, where do I even start with it? Where, how do you want to go? I'm with you on this. Okay, so I, you want to go. I think we could go with, you know, for the top five. Okay. Of, we might, we might have the same, but um, we yeah, yeah. top five. And then people should, you know, go and if you got time, listen to the audio book or purchase the book off Amazon yeah. and read it for yourself, especially for women. I feel like women, you know, really, it, it's a great one for us to get some insight in a lot of areas um, that we deal with when we're dealing with masculine energy. So, Absolutely. you know, and then you can also see that he kind of goes into the feminine energy too. A lot of it, a lot of it is, um, but just to, you know, see another perspective on how the world is ran. <laughs> Absolutely. We're getting invited into the boys club. Thank you. We get to see their insight on how they move amongst each other. Right. And how they manipulate us or how we can manipulate them. It's however right. you take it. Right. That's how, that's how it is. You know, you know, how it is. So, I mean, <laughs> um, so let's get started being that okay. you're the guest. Let's go with your, t- your number five for you. Oh. What was the, you what was, it wasn't number one law of power oh. for you. But oh, man. Uh, I know I got okay. a look. Yeah, mine, well, one of them, and I actually posted this a while ago on Facebook, went through action, never through argument. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That, that, that speaks for itself. Like, yeah. you know what? <laughs> you don't have to believe me. Let me just show you, but I can tell but, you. And that's, that's exactly how I move. Right, right. That's, that's the kind of person that I, like I am. So, through through action. so, I mean, that was a le- that's a lesson learned for me. Yeah. As well. That's a lesson. I've been in that where you you try to win through argument mm. you know i'm sure to, you know what i mean no no <laughs> like, we all girl i'm with you and with so you. as i've gotten older and matured <laughs> i'm learning and this is yeah. really this is really in a short time <laughs> yeah this is yeah. not like oh i've been involved for years and on a short time that I've kind of kind of sped up and it's like, okay, girl, you know, right. You don't have to argue. Yeah, you really you don't. It, you, you know what? At this point, walk, you walk. You don't yeah, talk. It, you walk. <laughs> yeah, it becomes tacky to go back and forth. But at the same time, it's like you have so you don't want to go there with people. You want to grow with people. And when you realize that you can't, you know, it's, it's just best to let it be and move on and let them see because what happens every time you know how many times they told Jordan he couldn't shoot he couldn't be on the mm-hmm. basketball team he ain't gonna be the greatest that's right who do we reference to be the greatest mm. A- his actions yeah yeah he it's, showed you he's I, the I, best so, no argument let, need I watched that last dance I mean I, I was kind of like but my son of course he's an avid basketball yeah. so that last day I'm like yo that's the, he's the goat that yeah. type of level of dedication of focus. Listen, he could have it. Ain't nobody, yeah, you can't. The you level can't sacrifice. That the level sacrifice. Nobody matched. Who matched it? Or if they if they did, let me see they last dance movies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Compare. That's a lot of work out there. Let let's put let put, put people to work, and let's start yeah. seeing all the legends 
sacrifice level of sacrifice then. Exactly, exactly. Sometimes it requires, you know, shunning off others, you know, whether you love them or not, it is what it is, because we don't sit there and go, um, oh, you're the best. We say, yo, you're the Michael Jordan of <laughs> right. You know, yeah, you know, you he's right. our right. reference point because right. he is that great. Mm-hmm. He is that great. Mm-hmm. I mean, right. Ruth was another one. He was focused right. as hell, and right. he's one of the best, right. you know, well-known Yankees we know to date. Right, right, right. You right. know, because he sacrificed. He was the worst and became the best. See. No argument needed. See, right. Thank you. No argument okay. needed. So that's a good one. That's a good top five. Yeah. I- I'm feeling that. Um, What's yours now? Hmm. <laughs> See, I'm gonna have to say, dang, infection. Oh, avoid like that one. unhappy and unlucky. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. That's not. Yeah, I mean, that's a good one. It's, it's it, but it's not easy. That's not a. That's not a easy one because you know. They say don't judge a book by its cover, of yeah. course. So yeah. then they tell you to get to know somebody, but then <laughs> yeah. you do, and then you start to, you know. Well, I think, you know what, with the book also, I think it teaches you also to read energy. It's something intuitive in us we are taught to ignore. Mm-hmm. So yeah, when you think about like, you know, we have family members that we know are toxic as hell, but we give them a chance because they family. Mm-hmm. you know friends you know you know whatever we talked about history oh you know i've known her since you know i'll give her a break when it, if it was a stranger cutting up that same way you cut them off right you, you know so we have to protect again. ourselves <laughs> yeah seriously like we really and it's a hard thing to to be that brave and maybe an example no argument all action they'll see right. watching you grow from a distance while you had to leave them alone and step up Right, right. So that's you know both of them go hand in hand. That's why I love these. I love these laws. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I mean because people live by certain things, you know. Yeah. And principles, and I mm-hmm. and 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 they go by commandments. Yeah. You know, they be going by all sorts of things. So you know, this is no different. It's not. No, you know, we're not saying these are. But these are just principles. A lot of these are basic principles, uh, yeah. rules of engagement and things absolutely. like that. You know, so, hey, absolutely. Um, you know, right. So reading the energy and, and learning to, that's not top five. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. I just, period. I have to, that's the number five. It has yeah. to be infection because it is infectious. And you'd be like, dang, you know, yeah, I've, I've been in situations where, somebody is going through an issue in their yeah. face with their uh significant other yeah. and i'm not but i've hung around it and now when i get home now i have an issue yeah <laughs> wait a minute yeah it's like you look to identify naturally as human beings with others and you pick up that energy and all of a sudden you at home like i need to wash them dishes and he looking like uh <laughs> is it that deep and you, it is that deep it is that deep you know what i mean and you like why did i but because we carry it it's a, it's an it's important to, to protect yeah. your own you know that's, protect your energy mm. you know that's that sacred space which my next one yes go ahead girl. it's um law 34 mm. be royal in your fashion act like a king to be treated like one Mm -hmm. now i've learned a very hard lesson about this i'm a sociology uh my degree is in sociology anthropology and history Mm -hmm. um we one of the studies that we had did explained uh attractiveness physical attractiveness and and the importance of it and i didn't get it at first i was like you know whatever if i had my degree and at the time i was very overweight i had uh acne issues i wasn't taking care of myself well and I looked the way that I felt mm. big time. What was inside was coming out. That's right. So I remember going on an interview for a job that I wanted really bad. It was my dream job. 
right. It was maybe a couple of days before I graduated with my BA. And I never forget it. I did three interviews. I was on the last one. The other two, they were gun hole for me. The lady looked me up and down and was like, I'm sorry, we're going with somebody else. Mm. She didn't say a word about my experience. We didn't even go to the back. She went, mm. I'm sorry, we decided to go with somebody else. Mm. And I knew what it was. I didn't look the part. Wow. So if I didn't look the part, she certainly wasn't going to give me the part. Right. So, and I say this not to say vanity is that much more important, but taking care of yourself in any capacity needs to show because people want to know that you're healthy enough to handle things, mm -hmm. that you care enough about yourself. It'll show. That's right. And it's not to say that we don't have bad days, but going outside in your PJs with a bonnet on is, come on. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay you said, I mean, oh girl I know because I felt some of them days where I'm like I'm going right outside with this bonnet and yeah. <laughs> and well, it, you know so I had to wrap the I can't remember yeah, yeah. Listen. and it's the thing is there's nothing wrong you can wrap yourself up but we, now we in the day and the age of information so now you can learn to wrap up your hair a little bit differently than wearing mm -hmm. you know a shower cap right right you know? You know, I clean up and the dirtiest stuff I got on in my house to clean up, but I'm not going to go outside looking like that. Right, right. And I can see the difference. And I say that, like I said, it's not a vanity um, reference. It's just to say, if you want to be treated with respect, listen, when she I started working, respect. right. Yeah, I dress better than my boss. And that's no, listen, take, she can take it how she wants. She's watching this. <laughs> but guess who they come up to thinking who's the boss? Mm, right. See? Guess who they call Miss V? Mm, right. And they reference her by her first name. Right. No. Mm -mm. So it, it <laughs> because I know who I am and I know how I want to be treated. We don't know each other personally. It's Miss V. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know. So it is what it is. You know, people will treat you dress like a stripper, honey. They will treat you like one. Mm -mm. Okay. What you saying? <laughs> uh, okay okay Sam, I'm just, listen, we all have our moments but some of them need to be private right this is, true. Just, this is true you know we don't come from a tribe of people that play around you know they <laughs> carried themselves they were identif identifiable and regal for a reason right you right. can't say you a queen and uh, i'm a king and Mm -hmm. You know, get your life together. Let's go. Mm -hmm. And that's why I like this law because it forces you to look at yourself. You know, he says it's one more, of the what you saying? <laughs> dress, dress accordingly. People will treat you accordingly, uh, according to how you dress. Right. Period. Right, right. Just seeing you dress a certain way, they're like, This is that? true. And I know, I know for a fact it's true because depending on how I'm dressed, is how I'm uh, like you said, either approached or yeah. Um, ignored. <laughs> <Let's Yeah. see. laughs> okay. I love when your hair is up, girl. When you have it wrapped up, I be like, there she go with my crown on, I wish. <laughs> I know, but okay. then it get real heavy. I get bobble-headed. Yeah. So I gotta, <laughs> I yeah. gotta take it down. I gotta yeah. take it down. Mm -mm -mm. So, yes. I mean, you came through with that one. Uh, yeah, that was definitely a great one. Um, 20, uh, I like law 26 for me. <laughs> just, okay. Just for me, that's number four. Keep your hands clean. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, okay. And, and, and that means that, you know, I, I, if you look in those, in history and in any examples that he used, there was oftentimes queens and kings had things you know, moves made for them um, where they were never implemented. You yeah. know, something something was, uh, you know, I, I would say maybe someone was missing. I'm not going to say murdered, you know, <laughs> you know or, uh, you know, other, other kingdoms were overthrown based on um, something that they did, but they, you would never know. You never knew in history that it was. Yeah. Really you know, so yeah. for me, keeping my hands clean. And that's to me, 
kind of how I see LLCs. You get yeah, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So it's not something where I'm doing about. dirty work, but yeah. it's learning in business. Keep this. Keep to not mind. make it personal. You're right. That's right. Period. And what is it? Discretion is key. That's right. That's right. And so is consent. Yeah. You can't trace that back to me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Deniability is key. Okay. That's right. I didn't. You know, and I always say, listen, anything could be used for you or against you. Right. I mean, it's it how you move. Prove it to me. Being used. Yeah. It's being used. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah, I, I like that one a lot. And it's funny because it says even my bosses know this in my notes. My son's and then say, listen, when Vlad, have you ever? He's watching Vlad and that's what he's watching. The, the former mob bosses being interviewed. I'm like, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you watching. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, okay. No, man. Let me see. Oh, man. God, there's so many. Oh, it's- this is a pet peeve of mine personally. Uh, master the art of timing. Timing is everything. Mm. Law 35. I'm really, really big on, you know, because the stereotype with us color folks is, you know, we always on CP time. Mm-hmm. So I've always, well, my grandmother got me into that. Always making sure that I'm on time is early. Mm. Mm. I, don't, I don't like, I don't like anybody waiting on me unless I have no choice kind of situation. But um, what he's referencing basically is um, knowing when to strike when the iron's hot. Thank you. Yeah. Knowing, you know, which goes with the first law, really, you know, not outshining your master, but knowing when that time comes, yes. you have to make that decision and it, and it better be perfect timing because you could cut off your nose and spite your face. Right, right. You know? Right. So I, I like this one. I, I do. Every Timing is everything. Yeah, yeah. It really is. True. This is true. And and people are so now with the, you know, with social media now and things like that, rushing. Yeah. They're rushing projects. They're rushing. You know, I see, I just see so much with people, you know, cooking and they're putting stuff out and you can tell it's rushed. If you yeah. take your time, you know, and I get it. Everybody wants to get a product out. Everybody wants to get content out. Everybody wants to do stuff. But it has to be, it, it just always has to be about the quality. Agree. You know, and the value, you know, Agreed. so people don't want to be thorough. For me, no. I'm a thorough person when it comes to um, the professions I'm in, like it, when, when it came to hair and learning about it, I studied it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I studied yeah. it, um, the theory part. It was, it was, I had to know about the products that I put in your hair. I had to know the chemicals and the compounds that I were putting, was putting in other people's hair because I yeah. didn't want to do harm. I wasn't there to do that. Yeah. And so yeah. I think with people wanting to hurry up and push stuff out, the, the timing, they don't care and they, and they rush and they don't want to go with the universe of time. <laughs> yeah. You know. y'all if y'all seen this woman put this box together it was nothing but love in this box it was it, <laughs> oh, I can't praise it enough it was just so much care and love in this box I'm like I can't wait for another one <laughs> it was just you know but but the care that goes into it you can feel the intention right. of the work right you know and I think that's also you know that comes with time and intention you know mm-hmm. knowing you know and caring enough for what it is that you want to do and knowing that it might be that time where you might have to let something go in order to move even further yeah. you know letting people go places go habits go you mm-hmm. know putting in that work having listen right. like I said you know we don't say the mic I'm the Michael Jordan of for fun see you get you know, they're not the greatest talk right now this is really you know? the talk for the tribe we are really sharing <laughs> mm-hmm. some really good uh jewels like you know this is yeah. a discussion that we're you know having just openly but at the end of the day yes like you said timing and 
really that goes with intention you know yes it's all about intention if you absolutely intention. and you know you go with you know divine timing you know and stop yes. rushing it. and stop rushing it all the time. you know so that's yeah. a good one that's a good one you gotta have me in here in deep thought <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay so, yeah, so many. you're right so that was your third one yes that was number three. Oh, mm-hmm. I can't. I can't. Let me see. Oh, mm, mm, mm. uh, there was just so many good ones, but we're going with. Uh... Oh, oh, this one was this was a hard one for me. This is why this is number three. Um, plan to, law number 29 plan mm-hmm. all the way to the end and yeah that's you gotta be detailed do you understand yeah completion has been a thing for me you know yeah. i'm learning so and it comes from not practicing that law or long knowing that law of power which planning all the way to the end yeah you know gets you it, it's just yeah you know, so when it, in, in, in those type of rules of engagement, that is what determines the ones who, who because they got to plan A through Z at that point. If you're planning yeah. all the way to the end, like he says in the preface, you kind of, you, you know, you're ahead of the game. Yeah. Because you're looking at all ways. Don't just, all, like he said, don't always look out the, look at the end result and the happy ending. You have to look at the whole picture you know and what yeah, just, was that happy ending to not happen and you have to yeah. be prepared for all of that so planning all the way to the end for me you know that means I'm gonna have to plan a and what if this happens then you know how are you gonna get there well plan b then plan yeah. c. and those are just all the ways that you're kind of playing chess <laughs> yeah yeah agreed but you know what think about it like this right universal law right you know, well, the universe period, it says that we need to visualize, mm-hmm. you know, it, 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 of course, never to, to, to like, all right, like you're on a road, right? You know, we're visualizing where we want to be. I want to be, like you said, A, B, C, but it says not to, to worry about the destination, not the detours. hmm don't worry about what goes on in between. What he's saying is anticipate them because you can't anticipate everybody else's. It's like driving. Right. You got to be a defensive driver. You might be like, girl, I got skills. I could drive, but you can't <laughs> anticipate somebody else being an idiot, you know? Right. right. So just, just to be aware that right. things can happen. And if they do, what are you going to do? And how are you going to move? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know which i mean it, it's it's it sounds easier than it actually is because nobody wants to go okay <laughs> well you know when i get on the road today you know you know right it is what it is but it's practice like that's the whole point of the practice and you know really knowing those rules when you're driving yeah. so you know what to, to like you said it's not anticipating it but knowing what to do in case that happens. So planning ahead will have you, or planning not just ahead, but all the way to the end, you know, and that's the difference because we all plan ahead. Okay, well, you know, tomorrow, but what about all the way to the end of 2021? You know what I mean? Yeah. What's the plan? What are you planning for every, every day? And yeah, that is some deep shit. (laughs) <laughs> yeah I mean, listen we need we need to do it though like it is it is hard it is hard right. it, it is like at a certain I mean even planning for a month I find myself like <laughs> yeah yeah like this is this don't look so you know uh, because I mean even think about our time during the day we have 24 hours you know mm-hmm what am I doing in those at least 12 of them, you Mm. know, let's say you're working and, and, and traveling back and forth. You know, we like to say we don't have time, Mm -hmm. but in fact, if you got time to listen to music or watch a stupid video on Mm -hmm. TikTok, you could have utilized that time to learn something or enhance your skill. Yeah. Listen, masters 
master because they saturate themselves in what it is they want to master. Yeah, yeah. That's why they're the masters. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. I'm almost yeah, we, we, I know. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you though. Like I do, because I'm like, girl, doing a week, I'm like, mm-hmm. meal plan to be problematic for me sometimes because yeah. yeah. And I and I yeah. have, but I usually meal prep for three days and those two extra days, I'm like, let's go with this maybe. Mm. Right, right. I don't know. Right. Yeah. Decision making like that. That's a that one of that's a the uh, you know, we have to understand that's a law of power. You're planning yeah. all the way. You're you're planning all the way to the end. Wow. Okay, so we are coming down to your number two. Here we go. Number two. Mm. I know. I know this. Yeah. That's a lot. Oh man. This one I like, but it's very hard to pull off. Mm. Uh, Make your accomplishments seem effortless. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Because you know. You do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I it, think it's that's like, the episode of Black women and that story where, yeah. and that now here comes the Black girl magic, you know, hashtag. Mm. And well, you know what? It, 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 that's very, very interesting because I always say, um, I don't like to discuss how hard things are mm-hmm. for me personally. But I, I, it doesn't mean, like you said, we're black women. We don't need hugs, loves, and affection either. I need because we that. make it look uh, I, all that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We want we want the tenderness too. We just don't want to play damsel in order to get it. I require it. I require it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I require it. Yeah. It it is what it is. I'm I'm you know. Come on. We we're, we're mm-hmm. not here. Like, what are you doing? And that's strength for us. Yeah. yeah. You be seeing even it's animals strange. massaging each other and picking it. Yeah. You know, come on. Like, here y'all go. I don't know why. Yes, it's strength for us, but we don't have to, just because we say, we don't have to be the strong Black woman, you know, uh, concept or, or, you know, always that view of us where they think if we decide that, hey, I, you don't have to label me that. Yeah. I'm a weak person. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's you have to be strong to exist in this society, period. Like yeah. don't be that. Okay. We know how to <laughs> you have to be strong. Um yeah. but that doesn't mean now, you know, I don't do, I don't need a partner. I don't I, I agree. Don't need a companion. You know, I don't want a friend, a lifelong best friend. Like you know. I, I could be out here by you know on my own unprotected. No, no. Yeah. You know. Yeah, no. nobody wants to feel left for dead. No. But you want to know, you know, at some point that you work this hard and it's appreciated, not necessarily like I, I shouldn't have to explain. Um, you know, like um I had a discussion with an old coworker one day. And she was like, oh, you you make shit look so easy. And it kind of pissed me off because you're talking about something you don't know about. So I pulled her aside and I was like, what do you mean? Because, you know, you could feel it mm-hmm. when she said it was like at a, um, she was trying to be antagonistic. Mm-hmm. So I called her on it and I said to her, listen, you're not there. Like, you know what they say? You're not there shooting in the gym with me. Four to five hours, six days a week, I'm in that gym working out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Every day, you know, I deal with a certain level of stuff when it comes to my health. Just because I don't wear it for you to see doesn't mean I'm not going through anything. Thank you. That mm-hmm. just means I wear it well. Right. And she just looked at me. Oh, you know, I'm sorry. I said, listen, listen. As black, and this is another black woman. We need to start complimenting and letting it go. Thank girl, you look good. Go ahead, girl. Keep it moving. <laughs> it shouldn't be explain how you got there girl right no i know right. i make it look good we, we listen that's in our genetics i don't care what nobody say right black women we make a lot of things look effortless but we do need that care love and support like everybody else it mm-hmm. shouldn't always have to be we have to man through it you know we have to muscle our way through it we have to be strong 
you know you can well, be gentle too think that they that came from us uh, supposedly being manless so now you have to be mm -hmm. you have to take on the physique and the the physical you know or the mass energy you know or and, i mean with that oh, we yeah. already have but now we have to enhance it you know um yeah you know for that fact because we're alone i mean for me i'm not alone you know yeah. and i listen i'm grateful <laughs> yeah you know, little old me no <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, no no oh, no yeah you know what i'm saying and i mm -mm. And yeah. like y'all tripping, y'all tripping. What y'all, y'all, what do y'all think y'all here for? Like, explain yeah. to me why y'all here then. Yeah. You know, stop it. Stop yeah. it. You know, let's, yeah. let's keep it real. Yeah, <laughs> this, this one, yeah, this one was a doozy because we do tend to come off and as superhuman. Yeah. We really do. You know, we come off very, you know, we could take on any, anything. And it's not true. Right. It just isn't true. We're, we're, we're great in what we do and how we move doesn't mean that we don't need the love too. Yeah, we have to. We have yeah. to. We have to have love. And that's why the groups and, and the, the circles and all that are created. We have to. Mm -hmm. If we can, we, you know, we have to connect in. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. we just, well, it, I feel the imbalance. Yeah, I'm, I'm not just you know. It's not just me. I'm an aspect yeah. of you. If I'm imbalanced, you're imbalanced. Absolutely, you're the she's imbalanced. Like I feel that we are all connected. Let's you know. Let's um yeah. make sure that everybody's getting the love they need. You know. Yeah. So, but yes, okay. That was a that was a good one too. Mm. <laughs> I know it's so many. Uh, you know. Oh gosh, I guess, you, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna go with, this is my, it was it was my number one, but it's it's not, it's law 48. Mm, okay. Doom formlessness. <laughs> mm. You know, yeah. I heard, you know, that was a good one because adaptability. You know, yeah. water is so adaptable. It's like flow and be formless like water. You know, if you need to, your water can take on the shape of anything it goes into. And yeah, or it gets into or runs into or, you know, what have you. Um, and it, it can absorb what's dropped in it. Like, I feel like, yeah. you know, water is life. Uh, that That is life. You have to be formless. You have to. And for me, that was probably how I am able to, that is how I'm able to be here. Okay. Yeah. Um, just to be able to be formless um, and, you know, flow and adapt. To yeah. That, that's it. I think that's how we thrive to survive as long as a species. You have to learn, I mean, it, you know, um, yeah. how to adapt and you can still thrive in that. So that yeah. was number two for me. Oof. <laughs> you said, Oof. That's yeah, that's number that, two. Ooh, girl. That's a good one. And that was actually one of them I was gonna take too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, ooh. All right. Um, oof. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Yeah, this is well, you know what? Strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. Law 42. Mm. Most most people will follow the herd. And that's a fact. It's called riot behavior. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. You, what, what I always say, I'm always cautious about the one that's quiet in the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the one I'm worried about, not the loudest. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know, and and listen I, <laughs> you can't help but for it to come off cocky but it's like i utilize this all the time yeah you I, I, yeah i do deal with it yeah you do deal yeah with it. I, I, yeah i'm i'm looking for the one that thinks that they're the one and then right. i'm coming for you mm -hmm. my daughter said she had a conversation with her new boss and she goes to me you know what mommy and i'm going she read the book i got all emotional about it but i don't think she was where that what lawyer was but she says, you know, I told my boss in front of everybody. 
I don't like you. And her boss is like, excuse me? She just met her. And mm. she goes, because you did this by 27, you're running your own company. I'm going to do this by 21. Mm. So I'm going to beat your record. And then she goes, you hear this? <laughs> I like her. Mm. <laughs> and I'm going, that's my girl. That's right, my girl. Right, right. Okay. That's right. how you let them know what time it is. Right. And then you say it once and you move, make it action. That's it. It was nothing to argue about. She understood who was mm-hmm. going to lead and gum because at the end of the day, what we do and how we move, you know, I'm not following somebody who doesn't know where they're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The- and if I'm trying to form my own righteous path, then I need you right. to stand out my way. Right. And if y'all want to follow me, that's cool too. Right. <laughs> 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 we went work harder not what is it work work smarter not harder right it's teamwork makes the dream work you know absolutely that's absolutely <laughs> team and work. if you ain't yeah listen if i can't learn to master something with you there's no point mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and that's it you know um you know, for me hitting 40 was just like okay yeah yeah you reach this where you what are they calling are they calling us middle age now yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Whoa. Which is weird. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Felt it, right? Mm, so, okay. I still can't get that. But middle aged, they you reach this yeah. place. And then but you're it's now you're at the beginning, you're a beginner. Yeah. So now here you go at zero, you know, where we go, we deal with tarot, you know, zero being the yeah. pool. Okay. And then you go to one forty one yeah. and one being a magician, you know, then you go to two. Like, you know, so it's like I'm seeing now, dang, I'm starting over, which it's a little, I mean, it's exciting and it's curious yeah. and it's scary because it's like, are you gonna, you know? So this is where the plan all the way to the end yeah. comes in that law. Because yeah. like, all right, you're gonna have to plan now 50 yeah you have to plan 50 now you see what i'm saying so yeah. i'm just like so that that your daughter at 21 knowing boom 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 like yeah she's about oh, no she's 20 she's giving herself a year oh she's 20 so I yeah 20, having that planning all the way to the end like she's on this she's on a shuttle right now she's space rocketing absolutely i'm so proud of you know listen that's that's why i never discount the youth because Mm -hmm. they're teaching us even us we don't look like our parents did at our age Mm -mm. i get asked how old are you and i'm like 41 (laughs) really i'm like yeah i got grown kids you had them as a kid no but if i did it wouldn't matter genetics do Mm -hmm. taking care of your health does you know which goes for we could look ragged and old at our age and we don't. So this right. is the, if this is the middle, this is our balance. Mm, 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 mm. You know, right, this is, this right. is the it's age where we're really, <laughs> them insecurities when we were 20, girl, uh, I'm getting fat. Uh, I feel horrible. Uh, you know, we're like, girl, please. Right. Okay, that's a little fluff. Right. Okay. <laughs> say, I have yeah, yeah. things to do. So too bad. <laughs> yeah that's it like i'm in my skin and i'm enjoying it i don't need the oh, we have to now at this point like come mm. on this is it's too much i get it's too yeah. much to be worried about it's too much of oh, i gotta you know really okay so my my number one i'm going with my number one now what is happening here <laughs> yeah oh my gosh you took all the good ones <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, let's see, because I think we will be even nice, but my number one. Mm. I know, this is hard. I Okay, because, so you already know, my number one, I've done it over <laughs> and over again. I live by this. Um, so I need to, I need to, if I'm living by this, then I, you know, I have to really tap into my power. Law number 25, recreate yourself. That's it. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> oh yeah, that that yeah yeah yeah. You stole my number one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Recreate yourself. Yeah. I mean, we you can. I mean, you can. You should. We cannot. We have to grow. Yeah. We cannot stay the same. Uh, you know, throughout life. That just doesn't make any sense. You know, you get no, yeah. you know, and so. You could see the stunt though in people's growth when it comes right. to renewing themselves every, every, let's say every decade. Right. You know, it's like that old lady in a club with the 20 year olds doing all of this <laughs> in a cat suit. She's stuck in the sixties and seventies, girl. No, let it go. You might, you're missing on the opportunity to not only grow, but to literally, re, you know, like become a newer, fresher, more secure person as we get older. I wouldn't want to be oh, 20 anymore, 30. I know. Uh, you know, when I'm listening to the people say I'm 20, I'd be like, Whoa. yeah, I be, I forget. I forget. I'm like, what was I doing? Oh, I was mom. Yeah. I was mom. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was parenting like hell. Okay. Right. You like, know, no. yeah, multitasking, PTA meetings. And the thing is, is as as hard as that was, I love I loved it because it taught me a lot. Yes, it's it's I, taught me it, it listen, but I can be and now I'm still a mom, but now I'm working on Millie. Yeah. And what I enjoy, who I want to be, where I want to go, because I have a lot of life in As a me. full-grown woman now, right. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so that's what we're doing, you know, um, with the high teeth and, you know, yeah. the tribe and moving into new territories and, and you know, uh, you know, business ideas and tapping into new industries. Yeah. Yourself. Hey, wow. Live, live the life. Live your life. Um, but I suggest you get it, you read it, or you go on YouTube, you put it in there. Forty eight laws of power. Let me see if I can share my screen real quick. Hope I don't. Hope nothing don't pop up that don't shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> can you see it? Yep, I sure can. Okay, so. Right, 48 Laws of Power. Yes. And oof, I, I'm trying to see if I can make it bigger, but girl, you know, I'm new to this. <laughs> no, I, listen, this um, is. Yeah, this is wow. good. This is good enough. So, yeah, you know, we went through them. Never, number one, that was a good one off the rip. Never outshine yeah. master. That was yes. the one. Yes. Um, number two, we, whew, we know this one. Don't trust friends. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, mask your intentions. This is another one too. Um, yeah. Protect your reputation at all costs. That was a good one. Yeah, that was my number one. Oh, that was your number one? <laughs> yep, that was my number one. Yep. <laughs> I'm, I, I lived by that since I was a child. I'm going to still live by that. Mm-hmm. You know, wow. reputation is worth more than money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is true. This is true. You know? Yes, I yeah. agree. I agree. Um, always say less than necessary. Yeah. That was a good one. Um, that was a great one too. Yeah. My dad always yeah. says that. Don't tell everybody everything. You know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell everybody everything. You don't let them keep that in pocket. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, court attention at all costs. That was a little, you know, for me, because I'm a little shy. Yeah. Know, so... I don't know if people could tell. I mean, if you know me, I think you probably know, you know, what you see, you know, me doing here. That's this is this is different. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> um went through action, not through argument. Of course, that was that was your five. Your, your, mm-hmm. your fifth. Uh let others work and take the credit. Mm. Well, who that's me at work. That? <laughs> Wait, stop it. How many people been through that? I've been through that yeah. at work. People, yeah, me you know, too. People taking the credit of should I do? Yeah. So, um, oh yeah. Make yourself indispensable. That was a good one too. That that yeah. was um make people come to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, seeing honesty and generosity. I mean, if you don't know what that is, look it up. 
Okay, mm -hmm. we, we're, we're, this is definitely not a, a school. <laughs> you can yeah. do the work here. Stay Absolutely. away from losers. <laughs> that, I mean, this is somebody interpreting the, the laws, you know, and kind of paraphrasing. <laughs> Yeah. Selfishness, not virtue. Gather intelligence. Know your opponents. Crush your enemy totally. <laughs> now yeah, you know these yes. are people who are dealing with power that we have not uh, seen in a long time. Okay, we're not running countries and kingdoms and things like that. He's talking in history, yeah. giving you an examples, but they're still doing that. What do you think the U.S. and the government and the military and, and all of that? What do you think it's all about? Let's let's be clear. So, okay, use absence to raise your value. Uh, we that's a great one right there. That that's a great yeah. One. Stay unpredictable. Oh, yeah. Um, we definitely can become very predictable. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and I think as a people, we have become predictable. And so they know what to do to incite us, to cause us to get out there. And um, they just know what we're going to do before we know it. So y'all need to, yeah. you know, do, do some work. It's time to do some work and become unpredictable. Don't isolate yourself. So connect like we're doing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And it's time where they're telling you to social distance and isolate, you know, you still can connect, just be safe about it. Keep your independence. That's what we lost as a people. We don't have to get that back. Surrender mm -hmm. to recover. <laughs> um, yeah. This is what we should be doing as well. That's a really good one. That's a deep one. Um, yeah, boy. Whew, girl, this is something else. Right. Let your victims feel smarter. <laughs> Yeah. Then, yeah, yeah. Aren't we the see listen, but aren't we the most educated group in the US? Black women. Okay. 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 So what is that telling you? Let your victims feel smarter. We're the highest educated group in the US. Yeah. You know, yes, we so, are. So what is that saying? Okay, we think we're so smart, but what are we educating in? European ideology. So we're gonna have to do some work and, and educate ourselves. In, in nation building. Um, create your own identity. You know, that's, yeah. what, that's what we're doing. And yeah. um, be a masterful courtier. Um, I mean, we, we mastered the art of that during a uh, Chateau slavery. <laughs> we, definitely, yeah. we definitely knew the politics of that plantation. And so we Absolutely. need to remember, this is a big, this is just a bigger plantation. Remember that, okay? Yeah. Um, concentrate your forces. You know, we'll, we'll talk off camera for that yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Say, act with boldness. Keep yeah. your hands clean. Yes, that was yeah. one of mine. Uh, always seem effortless. <laughs> that that was you. That was yes. one of yours. Um, yes. Create, <laughs> create a cult-like following. That was a good one. That you know, everybody knows you're dealing with, with these churches and stuff. Yeah, you know what that's about. Control okay. the options. Control the options. Um, find your rival's weakness. I think that's we we don't study enough. You know, we the first one yeah. we know who our rivals are, and I'm speaking generally. Um, and 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 I guess I would say you know, for us personally, um. We, we have to know who our rivals are first before we can mm -hmm. um, plan to the end. Plan to the end. Yeah. Master the art of timing. Um, and that's, see, we were picking things. We were deep in the book. At this yeah, point. yeah, we really were. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> that one is... It, mm -hmm. Play to people's fantasies. Yes, yes. That, that, we, we spoke to that. That's the children. They do that all the time. Because yeah. I remember a time when I was a kid and I didn't have that. And I wanted to give my kids all the things that I didn't have. And so anytime he said, please, 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 mommy, mommy, mommy. And I wash the dishes and do all the things like you said. Yeah. You know. And if you guys see me looking over here, that's just because that's where my thing is now. <laughs> I'm looking <laughs> over here at you. You know, I don't know what the camera looks like. Um, no, yeah, I just see the screen up. Okay. Yeah, it's, okay. I see all of everything that you're saying. Okay. Which is cool. <laughs> right. Okay. So uh, pretend to be like them. Oh. 
that's a good one. Okay. It's like wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm -hmm. Act like a king to become one. That's like you say, you got to dress the part. You yeah. See it. Okay, I'm almost done. Okay, but you can go see if it's ready. Um, ignore what you can't have. That's the one thing that we don't do. And yeah. You know, I feel like for us, we. That's why they say turn off the TV, all that. Ignore all that shit. Yeah. Because right now, what we need to be focused on, we're not focused on because we're looking at all the things that it don't need. We can't. It's not that we can't have it. It's irrelevant. Yeah. You gotta wait. It's irrelevant. So it takes away from our focus. You gotta wait. Um, and then don't feel right. So ignore what you can't have. I just said that. Yeah. You have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> don't fill a great man's shoes mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was the the one about alexander the great trying to fill his yeah. shoes yeah and that's why he had to do something totally different that was yeah you know that that's that's hard a lot of times for these you know legends and their children and they go into it's like listen you gotta do you gotta do you, you gotta yeah you can't be who they were you can only be you Yes, that's me. That's yeah. Me. Um, create compelling spe spectacles. Some people yeah. know how to, they, they, they master the art of doing that. <laughs> oh, know? girl, Kim Got Kardashian that. is a master at that. Yes, thing. yes, yes, yes. Okay, she segued that into a business for her whole family, girl. Okay. Power. She, she used it. She okay. Used, she used that one. That was a good, yeah. Um, despise the free lunch. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one too. That's a good. That's hard for me because if I can get lost, listen. <laughs> if, yeah. if it could come to me for re, no, let me stop. <laughs> yeah, I know, and that's the that's the trap, and I think that's what it is. He was yeah. trying to say, like, yeah, there's always a course with that. Remember, somebody's watching you all the time. Yeah, the time. You never give them enough bait to mm -hmm. bait you in. Uh huh. Yeah. Stir up water to catch fish. Yep, yeah, that was a great one too. Yes, strike yeah. the opponent's leader. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One of my hands. Right. Win both hearts and minds. Yeah. yeah. Another yeah. great one. Yes. Oh, we gonna talk about that book, girl. The yes. seduction. Yep. Oh no. <laughs> You know it because I, I started listening, but I was like, you know what? Let me wait. Let me yeah. wait. Listen, I, you know, I got it out. Gradually. Right. You're right. <laughs> We're going to have to bring that back. You're gonna have yes. To bring that Introduce change gradually. And yes. Yeah, okay. Because, yeah. And, and, and what's funny is I'm starting to see so much more of how what we were uh, discussing way back. You know what I mean? What is this? 10, 11 years ago. You know, when yeah. we each other up, I'm starting to see more of it and more awareness and more uh, people um, really uh, going back to, you know what I'm saying, natural and history and, and wanting to know more about their, where they come from. Yeah. Um, more of it now than ever. So, um, so, you know, a little bit and now gradually it's just growing. Um, don't seem too perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that's this is true. I mean, we all we all have our, you know, that's the point. Yeah. I mean, look at that's the thing about what we were saying, how they, you know, we may make it look easy. They feel like they yeah. make it look easy. Um, yeah. but no, it, you know, that's it's uh, appearances, that's just an appearance. Okay. Yeah. We, we know it, you know. It takes a lot yeah. for us to do what it is that we do every day. So you know, this is why I let people know, hey, I'm, I go through stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I do. Absolutely. I just wear it well. <laughs> right. That's it. I, I'm living mm -hmm. it. Um, and then use the mirror effect. Use the mirror mm -hmm. effect. That is great at interviews, people. Use it right. at interviews. Yes. Mirror that person. Yes, that's right. Mm, they lean in, you lean in. They lean yeah. in. Mm -hmm. That's okay, right. You sit up, you sit up. They call. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, because it, it, it gives them a sense of comfort in that zone. Right, right, right. Don't push too far in victory. Yep. Yeah. Don't push too far in victory. Right. You know, don't be a sore winner. 
Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know, know when to, you know, know when to pull back, you know, yeah. and, 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 you know, be graceful. And then um, assume formlessness. And so yeah. those are the 48 laws of power, you know, pretty much a, sh a, a short version. Yeah. Um, it's condensed, but it's a great read. It's, it's something right. that really should be required. Right. Especially right. in college. Right. Like college, right. high school, senior year, y'all need to read right. this. Right. Home. You Home. Know. Home. You know, a lot of things they're not going to get. Yeah. So I'm glad that, you know, um, they're aware now because, yes, it's a required read around here. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Yeah. Girl, I know you visiting you with your peoples and things. I appreciate you for coming yes, on. Yes, I enjoyed the tour with me and um discussing the book. And you know, hey, we might pop up here with another great one. You never know. Indeed. Okay. Peace. Have a good one. Peace. You as well.